Hi there, I'm Amy, and I wanted to just give you an update today on my property that I'm working on building a barn, building a house, creating a community resource for regenerative agriculture. And, um, you know, it's been a year long process so far. I bought the property about a year ago, and I've been kind of trying to clean it up. There is a lot of trash on the property actually because there are stormwater inlets that dump water onto my property. And that in turn has also created basically a man-made wetland. And so I did go through the USDA to protect it um, as a wetland, even though it is, it is pretty isolated and man-made. I still wanted to be able to apply for federal grants to help with my permaculture implementations on the property, like creating a pond and um, just doing other things that I want to accomplish on that property. Um, so right now I'm working on getting the driveway in, which I've been trying to do for quite some time, several months actually, um, but you know, that industry is extremely busy. And one of the things I'm personally trying to do is to reuse concrete that has been dumped onto my site over the past 50 years or whatnot, um, and put that where my driveway is going to go. And that's kind of like a recycling component um, and the excavators that I've talked to want to buy recycled concrete material um, but in order to actually do this I think I'm gonna have to do it myself uh, because you know paying someone else by the hour or by the day is just not cost-effective for me um, so that's what I'm working on right now I do have chickens currently at my house property and I want to get my barn built and bring my chickens over to the other property. Um, and then this is kind of weird. People might think this is weird, but I think generational housing is actually going to um, kind of make a comeback here. Um, but I'm planning on moving into a house with um, a retired woman that lives right next to my farm property and she's offered for me and my kids when they're with me to live in her house and her basement. She has a full apartment there and that would allow me to rent out my house and hopefully be able to use that to qualify for a mortgage to build the house. So all that to say, I'm seeking creative solutions to accomplish this lifelong goal of mine. Um, and how does that impact you? Uh, you know, I think I feel like my going through this process is going to help other people accomplish similar farms. And so that in the event that people need a plan B or we have, you know, empty grocery shelves, there is another option and you know something that i really believe strongly is that even if i have food in the case of a crisis if my neighbors don't then i don't because i'm at risk for uh, being robbed or you know i've actually had friends of mine say well i'll just come to your house you know if there's a problem so <laughs> It's like, I, I actually want to plan for that. I want to plan to be able to share. And I have the uh, more of an abundance mindset and not a scarcity mindset. So more hands um, make light work. And I want to be able to incorporate that into my whole plan here for this property. So um, what else have I not covered? Um, on the property, I intend to, you know, have solar panels and energy. 
I would like to be able to have greenhouses so that we have food production year round. Uh, of course, I will do water harvesting. So there's a lot that I'm thinking about that is going into this decision for how I'm moving forward on this property. So that's just kind of an update. I hope that it was helpful and please, if you have questions, feel free to leave them below. I'm happy to do more videos on things that interest you. Um, you know, I did a lot of things this summer and fall, but I feel like there's already so much content on YouTube, like how to raise chickens and how to, you know, grow vegetables and how to do seed starts. And how, I mean, like so much information. I don't want to add so much out there that you know, people are overwhelmed and I'm overworked. So go look up how to do those things. Um, that's where I'm at with that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.